with that, I think we'll see if we have any yeah, we'll, questions we coming. Questions. We might have a couple. Yeah, we have some questions coming in. Um, so a question from Tanya. Does it matter where you build your site, from within ArcGIS Online or if you build it from inside your enterprise portal? So great question. I think it's kind of getting mm -hmm. at, you know, um, is ArcGIS Hub available in Enterprise Portal or in, right. in online, kind of a sites versus hub combo. So you want to go? Yeah. Through? So we get, you know, we, we get this question a lot mm -hmm. because they see the site building um, capabilities and there's also the similar capability in Enterprise with ArcGIS Enterprise Sites. Correct. Um, and a little background, actually, the same team that made hub sites also makes Enterprise Sites. Um, so, so the question is, does it matter? Um, it depends on where you want to go in the long term. If you're just looking for a, you know, a website, it, it may not matter. If you um, want to eventually kind of move up to some of the premium capabilities that we're going to show where you're organizing teams and um, want to have community members play a bigger role in your hub, then you might want to think about building that in ArcGIS Hub online. Um, but you'll see as we go along, and then maybe you can make the decision where you would like to build the site. But many of the site building capabilities that are in Hub are in Enterprise, but uh, Hub has a few more capabilities in terms of indexing your content and, and some other things. But um, so. So another related question, I think you just answered, but uh, you know, can Hub be used? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, oh, this is a great one. How many sites Ooh. can an organization create? That's a great question. And the answer is? Unlimited. Yay! A billion, if you, maybe not a billion, but a lot. <laughs> a lot, if you have that <laughs> kind of no time. <laughs> yeah, so there is no limit on the number of sites you can create, so you, you could feel free to, um, you know, yep. run wild and, and yep. create some and sites. That, and that also applies to initiatives, which we'll show, begin showing in the next sections uh, for the premium version, so mm -hmm. great question. Um, all right, another one. Uh, how is ArcGIS Hub licensed or what type of licensing is needed uh, in order to use it? We talked a little bit about that just now. Yeah. Um, so I get, oh, go ahead. I'll, I'll jump in. Yep, so please. basic, what you saw today was included with ArcGIS Online or a Hub Basic subscription. So um, most of you should have it. If you have a, um, a role of publisher and above, you'll probably see that icon in your, your app switcher in ArcGIS Online. Um, to get some of the premium features, which... If you which, don't ask your admin. That's you right. see it, if you really want to start creating a site and you don't see a hub in your app switcher, ask your admin to uh, give you that permission. Good point. Um, the uh, other thing is you see more of the premium capabilities coming along. Um, there are several different ways we can license that. Um, it is an additional fee for the, the premium subscription. Um, and what that fee is will depend on if you have an enterprise agreement or, or don't. And it depends on how... Uh, how large of a community you want and how you want to structure your community. We have different ways to license identities for your community. Um, some you can pay as you go, where you license chunks. And then my favorite is where you can, um, like if you're state or local government, you can license really an unlimited community size uh, for a fixed fee and then never worry about it again. Um, and then uh, I'll mention it here, but it'll probably make more sense when you see what premium features we have coming. But um, the premium version of the product is also included for universities with their education site licenses. Um, it's included also uh, nonprofits have one instance of the premium level of the product included as well uh, so that they can they can share the good work they're doing and engage the community. So um, we can talk more about licensing or if you have questions, you can always uh, contact your ESRI representative and they will yep. help you out. Right. So a few more here before we go to the next section. So is it possible to generate a URL that does not contain ArcGIS.com? Or a question, can I create a custom URL? Yes, great yeah. question, and absolutely. You can you can have your own custom URL or yeah. domain name that is consistent with what your maybe your regular website has. Um, it does not have to mention ArcGIS or Hub or anything. It's it's totally up to you. You can absolutely configure yeah. configure that. Uh, I just want to jump in and piggyback off of that. A question we get a lot is, can the site um, match my branding? Like, what if my regular site, what if my regular site, you know, we have strict brand guidelines. We have to have a certain logo and certain colors. And absolutely, there's a way where you can um, set the theme of your sites in terms of their colors, and you can add your own logo, and you can very much make your website uh look very similar to your or, or the same as your existing yeah. web property so that they 
they um, harmonize together yeah, very well. Yeah, seamless experience for constituents coming to your sites. And uh, okay, perfect. So a couple more. These are great questions. Um, are there default templates already available in ArcGIS Hub that I can use? Also, is it possible to import custom templates? Ah. So like for website templates. That's what I think it's, yeah. it's meaning, yeah. So there isn't a, a, an import, like or an import button, yeah. but you, when you create a site in Hub um, for the premium version of the product, you are able to save that website as a template. You could templatize that website. Yep. So if the question is, I, I have a website and I want to reuse it again and again, I style it the way I like. Um, when you make a web a template, template your initiative or your site, yep. you can do that and then reuse that yep. again. And Alan will show you what it's like yeah, to show some more of those examples. Yeah. And yeah. we, t and, and when he shows you the initiatives, you'll see, you know, a little bit, understand a little bit more about what yeah. it's like to template. So you those saw sites. the, during the first part, during Brenda's demonstration, you saw one of our first, what we call starter site templates when she created and add a, uh, my, my slick site, or, <laughs> Super uh, site, and then you'll see more of those options. And so this idea of creating, uh, importing a custom template, you could use that starter one, create a version that's similar to what you have in your custom, and then uh, in the premium version, you have this ability to create templates from there. And then we'll also show our ready-to-use options, which give you more options to mm -hmm. borrow styling and different patterns. So. Um, really great, great, great questions. I have a few more that I think will be, we'll probably answer in the next right. section. So I think we're going to keep going. Uh, please keep the questions coming in though. This is great.